Hey guys, this is Gadget Mix. So in this video, I am going to open this uh, Evita Essential Footing laptop apart. Um, I'll try to I'll try to open the back panel of it and see what upgrades we can do. So this is what the back looks like. There are absolutely no fans, which is a great thing. Just like MacBook Air, so you can easily place it on your lap and. It, your lap won't get burnt so uh, we can see that there are one two three four five six seven eight nine nine screws here um, all of them use the basic uh, Phillips screw so all you need is a uh, Phillips screwdriver to open this up and um, once you are able to open this up you can have access to the battery at least so Yes, the battery is non-removable, but um, at least you can replace it if you can source it from somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fast forward this video. Here I've already opened the screws. So I started opening it one by one. Uh, couple of screws could not be removed but I think they will be out I will unscrew them and I think we will now have access so there are clips underneath I think so you need to be careful I'm just using the plastic pry tool that I use for disassembling my uh, cell phones so kind of ridiculous how hard things have become for the normal user now one of the days when one could easily get access to the battery now they do not want the users to have access to anything so let's see we can open it there we go I, want, I do not want to break anything because it is very hard to procure parts of these things. I think it is still unscrewed. It still left to be unscrewed. I have not unscrewed this. So some of the uh, screws here are extremely tight. Okay, I was able to get the screw out. There you go. Click, clicks. You have to apply some pressure. Okay, so after wasting 15 minutes on on this, on getting this screw out, oh god, I was finally able to unscrew all the all these screws. So let's open it. I'm opening it in front of you guys for the first time. Okay, so there you go. So, what do we have here? Here we have a very large battery. So these are the specs of the battery. 23.68 watt hours. Uh, battery 3200 mAh rated capacity 7.4 voltage so that's a very huge battery beneath we have two stereo speakers oops sorry and let's see if anything can be upgraded or not 
think the storage can be upgraded. I think it's M.2 SSD drive, 128 GB. And I think we can upgrade this very easily. And I don't see any slot for the RAM. So I think that's soldered. But the good news is uh, for those who think that the storage is low on this, they can definitely upgrade this. It's an M.2 SSD. It's a proper SSD, not the uh, eMMC storage, which is a slow one. But it's not too fast. I think they have used slightly inferior version given the price tag. It's made in Shenzhen, China. You can easily unscrew this and install a bigger battery, bigger storage on this. Uh, the battery here is divided into two parts and joined by this tape. To disconnect the battery, it's very easy. Just unscrew this and this here and unplug this. And you can, if you are able to source this battery from somewhere else, you know now how to replace the battery. It's not that difficult. This is the battery connector that goes into this tiny, tiny motherboard here. And that's all about it. I don't want to open anything else. You can see the ports on the top. You can also still see that my computer is in standby mode. I do not do that. The entire system runs very cool. It's fanless, just like the new MacBook Air. It's like the poor poor man's version of MacBook Air. Uh, I do feel that they could have used better use of this uh, area here by equipping it with a higher capacity battery. 3200 mAh is not a lot of uh, um, battery power. My Lenovo IdeaPad 100S, which is a small netbook, which I bought two or three years back, came with a 6100 mAh. But so far, I have I don't think the battery is too shabby on this. I am able to get about five to six hours while doing web browsing. So, battery life is not too shabby. The processor is very uh, efficient. So yeah, you can upgrade the storage and you can yourself upgrade the battery if you are able to get hold of them somehow. It will be very tough to get hold of it, um, especially in India. And yeah, that's all about it. Uh, the hinges here are hinges. These hinges, they are made of metal, which is very nice to see in a budget computer like this. Uh, this also means that it, uh, the hinges will hold on for a longer duration compared to the cheap uh, plasticky ones that you see in the cheap computers like these. It's all made of metal, nice uh, build quality, even though the entire chassis is made of plastic. The inards of this computer are made of uh, metal and uh, yeah there, there you go I don't think you can upgrade the RAM you can upgrade the M.2 SSD and I'm not going to upgrade that um, I spent uh, less than 20,000 bucks on this so no plans to upgrade the storage maybe in future but not now uh, also since you have access to full size usb ports a couple of usb ports you can easily upgrade the in, uh, internal storage you also have a micro sd card slot here so yeah okay so that's all about it if you like this video give this uh, video a like and let me know if you have some other questions 
and I'll be happy to answer them about this laptop. Bye-bye.